So this will be lesson three. It'll be the last lesson on uh, basic arithmetic. And we're going to talk a little bit about the order of operations. Um, let's look at an example here. I have um, six plus negative three times four. Notice also I wrote it as six plus negative three times four using parentheses. Uh, what's kind of interesting how parentheses really help us out understanding the order of operations. Uh, remember, in the order of operations, we need to be multiplying and dividing from left to right, and then we go about adding and subtracting from left to right. Um, so we'll have problems that we may have addition and multiplication or other operations involved. We just kind of have to follow this etiquette. Now, me and the calculator can work on this. But notice over here, you know, there's a tendency, look at this problem, to add and then multiply. But over here, these parentheses help us focus in on that we really need to be multiplying and then adding. So this example really helps you see the order of operations better than this example. But either way we write it, we still got to be multiplying. So negative 3 times that 4 would give us our, our negative 12. And we bring down the 6 plus the negative 12. And then if we add those together, we would end up with a negative 6. And the same way over here, we would see the same thing. And again, it doesn't matter how you put this in the calculator, it should still give you the same result. So remember, you can put the order of operations in the calculator. So again, you can hit the on button. If you want to reset it, remember, you can hold down the on button, then hit the clear button, and that will reset the calculator. And then if I want, I can just type in uh, 6 plus negative 3 times 4, and it should perform the order of operations correctly and get a negative 6. Um, something else that we can bring to your attention is, um, did you know parentheses are actually able to be used to change the order of operations as well? So parentheses can also be used to change what we call the order of operations. So if I really want uh, in this example here, let me go ahead and just bring this over here. 6 plus negative 12, and then we have our negative 6 as our answer. Let's look at this example from a different direction. So, we also have 6 plus negative 3 times 4. If I put parentheses, though, around the, the 6 and negative 3, what has to happen now is the parentheses take precedence. I actually got to do what's inside the parentheses first. So I can change the order of operations by using parentheses, and now I actually got to add, and then I have to multiply. So 6 plus negative 3 ends up being then 3, and then 3 times 4 ends up being 12. Notice know how that does change the order of operations. Over here, when I multiplied and then added, I got a negative 6. Over here, when you added and then multiplied, I gave you a 12. So if you do want, the, the, yeah, if you do want addition to go before multiplication or division, so if you want that addition to go before multiplication division, you have to put parentheses around it, otherwise it will be done incorrectly. So as is, if I look at this example, you know, right now I'm supposed to be multiplying 8 times negative 4 and then add 7. So again, on the calculator, you can just type that straight in as well. 8 times negative 4 plus 7, and then enter. And remember, the negative symbol is next to the enter key, and don't forget you cannot enter, uh, you cannot switch the subtraction symbol with the, the negative symbol. It'll, it'll create a syntax error. And therefore I get, uh, on the calculator, I got a negative 25 for that. So as it is, that would be a negative 32 plus a 7, because you got to multiply then add. And then if you owe 32, but you have 7, you got to kind of pay out seven dollars of debt. So if I pay two dollars of debt, that'll get me down to thirty. And if I pay out five more dollars of debt, that'll get me down to um, like twenty-five dollars of debt. So negative twenty-five will be the result there. Now again, if I want to make a different example, if I have eight times negative four plus seven. If I want to change the order of operations, I can put a negative four and a seven in parentheses like that. And now, notice that I, I'm allowed to add before I multiply. And so I'd have um, negative 4 plus 7 would actually give me $3 of income. And I, I, I multiply that by 8. And again, I can drop the multiplication symbol because 
if you put a number next to a parenthesis, that also means multiplication. So I try to take times three, and eight times three in turn turns to a, a 24. And notice that we do not get the same answer. So if I change the order of operations, the result is different. And that's why it's imperative that we uh, follow the order of operations. One last example we want to look at is an algebraic extension. Subtract 25 from the quotient of x and 2. So subtract 25 from the quotient x and 2. Notice again we have this word from. From means we have to start. So we actually got to start with the quotient. Now, quotient is another word for um, division. So that's a vocabulary word. So if we're talking about a quotient, we use that's division. So when it says quotient of x and 2, that just means x divided by 2. And a lot of times in algebra, we use a fraction bar as a division symbol. x divided by 2, and then we're going to subtract 25 from that. So if I have to change this into an expression, notice the from is a cue that we actually got to start with a quotient, and subtraction actually comes second. Okay, I believe that highlights what I wanted to do today. So that's going to be a, a recap of basic arithmetic using the, the calculator reference sheet.